Hey guys, so I can't believe that September is already over. My kids went back to school this month and it's just flown by. My birthday was this month, so I am now a very old, 36 years old. So I thought that I would sit down with you and share with you what I have been loving for the month of September. So if you guys are curious to hear what my favorites have been for this month, then just keep watching. First off, let me start off with a book that I don't have in hand because I gave it to my husband to read and he has it with him, I believe, right now. It is the Honestly Adoption Book by the Berries. It's by a couple that did, went through private adoption and then adopted, I want to say, seven or six or seven children out of the foster care system and they wrote a whole book about parenting children that come from trauma. So any trauma could be like sep being separated from your first family is trauma. Whether you get them as a, an infant, a newborn, whether you get them as a preschooler, elementary age, on up to a high schooler, there's going to be trauma. They are separated from their first family. So they wrote this book about questions and answers, a lot of questions they get and how they've dealt with them. And it was just so enlightening for me because I am currently parenting three children who come from a separation background. They're no longer with their first family. We've done the private adoption and we've done the foster to adopt route. So we've experienced both. And they also talk about parenting children who have um, a fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, which one or two of our children we believe have. And so we're struggling with that too. So the book was so enlightening and so helpful for those of you considering adoption who have adopted or those of you considering fostering or becoming foster to adopt parents. Super, super informative helpful and very real. I really appreciated their honesty. So check out Honestly Adoption available on Amazon. Great, great book. All right, moving on to beauty, which is probably why you're all here. So my first beauty favorite for the month was the Rock Retinal Correction Max Advanced Wrinkle Formulation Deep Hydrating Moisturizer, basically. It looks like this. I've had this sitting in my drawer for a while and I don't know what took me so long to try it, but I love this moisturizer. I put it on in the morning uh, before the kids get the bus and then I go down to the bus stop with just that on my face and my face is glowy and radiant and looks so youthful and healthy. I honestly feel like I don't need makeup. Uh, my skin's been looking pretty good so far this month. Not a lot of breakouts or discoloration and I think that this is really helping to kind of heal and kind of reverse signs of aging for my skin. So highly recommend this drugstore product. Really good. An under eye product that I've been using a lot is the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot. I have the shade light, but I feel like I need to go up a shade because this is a little too light. So it's like a slightly peachy tone concealer, and the way I've been applying it is just dabbing it on the inner corner of my eye, just in this area here, because as you get older, the wrinkles, the smile lines collect here, so having less product on this part of your eye seems to be helping me look less cakey and more youthful, which is what I'm going for at 36. So I've been finding that something like this works really well at the inner corner and then I'll do like an all over concealer lightly just to kind of even everything out and this has been working really well to conceal. So I've been loving this. A lip liner that I'm completely obsessed with is the Alamar Cosmetics lip liner and this one is in the shade Dulce. It's one of the Des, Des, Des Nudas liners. It looks like this. It's like this beautiful contour nudie brown shade. I love it. It it doesn't top my Maybelline and Gigi Hadid Tar liner. That one still has a bit more pink to it, but this is beautiful, especially going into the fall when I do a lot more like brownie nude lip colors. This is definitely going to be my go-to. I just wish that it was mechanical and that I didn't have to sharpen it because I'm going to be sharpening this one a ton this year. Beautiful, beautiful lip liner. And along the same lines, the Alamar Lip Gloss, this one is in the Mother of Pearl Serenita, is beautiful. I'll pop some on now so you can see what it looks like. First of all, it smells like pineapple, like a pineapple lifesaver. It smells so good, and it looks super shimmery in here, but applied to the lips, it's just this beautiful gloss without like a lot of shimmer. It just looks healthy, and it feels almost like a lip oil on the lips. I love it. Wonderful. An eye product that I've been using a ton this month, ever since I got my hands on it, it was part of the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Halloween display, so go out and get it if you're interested. This is the Liquid Catsuit Cream Liquid Shadow in the color Vanilla Scream, Vanilla Ice Cream. It's like vein. 
Ella, and then I scream. And it's what I used as a shadow base today. I apply it with a sponge, I pat it all over, and it's an excellent eyeshadow base. It really makes colors pop, and it cancels out veins, and it's like $4. Really, really good. I've been looking for like a paint pot in a white, something like that. I finally found one, $4. Another thing that I've been loving from the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers displays is this shadow palette called Coffin Break. I love to wear this all over the lid as just a shadow. One color and done. I like to com combine this one with the warmer shades if I want more of like a fall pumpkin-y spice color eye look. I love deepening it with the brown and the black. I'll use both of these as liners if I want to deepen it up. These metallics are really pretty. You've got your pumpkin-y one and more of your golden one. And even this one, I've been using this one as a brow highlight and it works really well. So this is a really, really nice palette from Wet n Wild. And another palette that I've been loving this month is the BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez palette, which was definitely an impulse purchase. I had a gift card for Ulta. I was there for my birthday reward and I came across this palette, which has a detachable mirror and also converts into a vanity. This is gorgeous stunning. I love it. I have nothing bad to say about this except that it could be a little bit thinner. That's it. It's beautiful and I think it was like $23 and you can use one of their $3 off 15 coupons at Ulta. Love it. A brow product that I've been using almost exclusively this month is the Collab Beauty Shape and Shade Tinted Brow Mascara in Blonde. That's what I have in my brows today. It's a teeny tiny little like mascara wand and it has just enough tint that it can kind of like help me fill in my brows. It holds them all day long. I really like this. A palette that I'm still loving is the Rach Loves and Pixie palette. I have this on, no, I had this on this morning but then I removed my makeup to film another video but I still love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I use all of the shades in here. So I hope that they make this a permanent addition to their line. It's so, so good. An eye cream that I've been using all month along with the Rock Moisturizer. This is the Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Tonight Eye Cream. Brightens and tightens. I've been using this on the under eye every single day. And I do think that it's helping to hydrate my under eye area. It doesn't seem to be as dry as it normally is. So a good product from Physician's Formula. A sunscreen primer combination that I've been using this month because honestly I really need to do better about getting SPF on my face. I will often use this one, the Neutrogena one with SPF, but when I don't have that, I sometimes forget. And this one is really good. It is the um, Super Goop Smooth and Poreless 100% Mineral Matte Screen. It has an SPF of 40. And what this is, is like a tinted primer. And as you rub it in, it makes your pores disappear and gives you like this poreless look. You could probably use this as like a foundation. It has just a little bit of tint to it that I feel like you could get away with doing that. I don't know. It's just really beautiful and I love the way that my skin looks with just this. So sometimes I'll go in with my moisturizer, a little bit of concealer on this and call it a day. And finally, a lip product that I've been using a lot this month is the Chapstick Total Hydration and this is the one that has like the essential oils in it and I particularly like this scent. This one is Peace and I believe it's peppermint and eucalyptus. It's clear. Yeah, It smells really good. It really hydrates the lips. It keeps them smooth, soft. And I knew that they have like a whole line of these. There's like an orangey one. I think there's this one. There's a couple other, other essential oil like scents. Um, but I partic particularly like this one, which is the Peace Fragrance. So that is it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you've been loving this month. I love hearing your favorites as well. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. And keep an eye out for holiday promos, holiday sneak peeks, and holiday unboxings. As the holiday kits are coming out, I will give, bring them to you as soon as I get them. Bye, guys.